you've scammed your fans. What's going on everyone, it's Rich Lux. In today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay guys, I just wanna say really quickly that I do have a Instagram filter that is out right now. And I'm kinda of shook by it, and I'm like so lucky to have one, and thank you so much for those of you who check it out. Play with it, tag me in it, see if you like it. And as always guys, this video is sponsored the house by Manscaped. If it nicks the sack, send it back. I love this company so much. It's rechargeable, TSA friendly, and waterproof, and it's the best shaver I've ever used. I will not steer you wrong, this literally is a lifesaver so definitely check out Manscaped put the link down below and uh yeah so let's get into this whole entire Trisha Paytas drama with Gabby Hanna now this has been going on for quite some time now these girls have been beefing but actually I think it's more just Gabby Hanna just keep popping off and talking about Trisha Paytas when Trisha Paytas is not even talking about Gabby Hanna Okay, imagine going through your life and there's someone who just keeps talking about you, keep making videos about you, keep mentioning you, and you're like, oh my gosh, shut up. It got to a point where Trisha Paytas actually sent Gabby Hanna a cease and desist. And uh, yeah, but till this day, Gabby Hanna is still talking about Trisha Paytas. And she has really, guys, Gabby Hanna has really said some really nasty things and very malicious things saying that uh, Trisha Paytas has some some very interesting things going on down there if you know what i'm saying and uh she's calling her out but i think trisha paytas has finally had enough so she went off so she went off two times so last night trisha paytas dropped a long video exposing gabby Hanna. and after she dropped that video she went back on her instagram story and talked about her some more. So as always guys, make sure you watch Trisha Paytas' first video on Gabby Hanna that she posted last night. And then here's what she had to say right after that. I'm learning a video, but it's gonna take like literally an hour and a half. It's taking so long. I just wanna say Gabby Hanna is a fucking piece of shit. Gabby Hanna, you need help. Your biggest fear is that you think you're crazy. You are, here is your sign. You are surrounded by people so far up your ass that they're not telling you to get the fuck off the internet and get some help because you are delusional. The fact that you say you never bring anyone's name, you hate bringing my name into it, you hate, you hate starting drama, you did it back then you do it to every single person you are actually delusional why nobody fucks with you think about it it's not everybody else it's you gabby think about it think of all the people you screwed over the people you didn't give song credit to the people you never paid for music the people that you fucked up their set because of your eating and training schedule things weren't catered to you lies that you told about people's significant others hitting on you and shit you're a fucking piece of shit I don't just go up and start talking shit about you to people. People talk shit about you because you need help. And it's why people don't fuck with you. Accountability. You fucked up. You've scammed your fans. You've collabed with a rapist. You're just a liar. Take some accountability. Go get some fucking help. There's no shame. Check yourself into some fucking mental health facility. DBT classes will make do wonders. Because it is so clear something is wrong. This is no longer gaslighting or accusing you of a mental health illness. There's no issue. You have a mental health problem and you are not getting treatment. Going to therapy is not a treatment. You need serious help, Gabby. You are so scary delusional. The fact that you don't think you started any drama. You, there's all your Instagram story of you starting the drama by sharing my fucking name in them. You are scary delusional. Get off the internet, stop fucking talking, and get some fucking help. I met Gabby Hanna twice in my life. For a total of probably 30 seconds one time, maybe four years ago, and maybe like five minutes one time two years ago. She is obsessive. Obsessive, even before I met her. Talking to me, talking about me to obviously Jason and David ask, saying I have diseases in front of them. Talking about me to our mutual friends, asking every single person I hang out with if I talk shit about her, knowing very well that I do talk shit about her. Um, just obsessive. And now continuously bring me up, even though she says, despite her saying, nobody cares about our drama, yet you continuously bring me up. You are crazy obsessive with me. It's scary. My cease and desist was a very polite way of saying, you're scary, leave me the fuck alone. I'm gonna let someone legally know your harassment of me and that I'm having issues with you. And I'm publicly letting people know that I'm having issues issues with you because you are scary, obsessive, and obviously delusional. Our delusions come out this past week, even though I've known about these for a long time through our mutual friends, 
Sending them out even more is scary. You're going to end up hurting somebody or yourself or me. So I am publicly saying this. This girl is obsessive. She has, she's not getting the help she needs. No one is taking her off the internet and trying to help her. She just continuously, and I'm still on her mind. She did a video about our drama six months after. Then yesterday in her podcast, she keeps bringing this weird shit up, like going between manic and happy and laughing at me for sending her a cease and desist. That is my way of letting people know your harassment, just asking people constantly about me and what I'm saying about you. I did a public video to let you know, I don't want to be your friend. I don't like you. That's it. I'm letting you know. Stop being obsessive with every fucking person I hang out with. You're a freak, Gabby. Stop it. My whole life have I met someone so crazy, delusional, and not reading social cues. It's scary. There's psychopathic tendencies there. I'm actually scared because we live in the same vicinity. This girl brings my name up every chance she gets publicly, asks people about me privately. Just stop. Stop. And if something happens to me, this girl has been harassing and obsessing me over years. And any one of my friends or people who know her can tell you the exact same thing. Gabby's always asking you. Gabby knows every single thing about you. Stop it. Gabby Hanna doesn't write her own music at all. Um, doesn't pay the people who do write the music and definitely doesn't credit them. Remember on TRL when she said she wrote Satellite all by herself? And then it magically deleted because guess who really did write all that himself? Out loud there's a reason those people don't fuck with you you don't write your own music you're not mainstream because of drama videos about it's you're not mainstream because your songs are just about you and no one can relate to being a fucking meme and all your songs are sad and shit like i'm a meme and no one relates to that people can relate to billy eilish and taylor swift they do general themes that people can relate to that is why you're not a pop and pop star bitch number one person you should be afraid of is somebody who has nothing to lose and you guys took so much from me and i have nothing to lose she's not saying this is a troll or it's for attention oh she got promo for her music like she keeps doing this and it's 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 like scary she's literally saying be scared of someone with nothing to lose and she has nothing to lose she will end up hurting somebody or herself this is, this is the darkest thing I've ever seen. This is the scariest I've ever seen someone spiral. And she's not saying it's a troll. She's not snapping out of it. This has been going on for a week straight. It's not defending herself. It's battling every single person, bringing up every single thing, harping on it. Instead of just going on, saying her piece, getting on with, no, she's, and now she's just lying and being delusional and threatening. And it's scary. Gabby side last week because I know being pushed to a brink where you start having a mental breakdown online and it's it's really scary and like you really need to get help. If enough people are telling you go get help, go get help, like you don't want to hear it, you don't want to believe it, you think like they're all crazy and you're in the right. I know that feeling. And I'm like, okay, but you know what? It pushed me to actually get help because I actually like did need it. And not coming out of place of malice. Like I don't like the girl never liked her she's i think she's a horrible human being doesn't mean she's still not a human being so i really wanted her to get off the internet and have someone step in and like get her help because she like needed it like it was it was it was 48 24 hours 48 hours 72 hours of her just battling people on twitter just and getting her boyfriend involved in it and just random people we've all seen her just dm random people and make phone calls to random people to try and convince them that she's in the right like who does that it's it's not it's not it's not right it's not and like I was I was on her side last week like hey go get help like hey I don't like you as a person but you're a person go get help and I'm st I still feel that way but now it's like becoming scary she's threatening she keeps obsessively bringing me up and shit and it's like stop get help Trisha Paytas YouTube video already has over 150,000 views exposing Gabby Hanna and telling her side obviously you can tell that Trisha Paytas is upset she has had it officially with Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna still continues to pop off. Here's my advice on the situation, okay? Gabby Hanna really needs to stop talking about Trisha Paytas because Trisha Paytas is not talking about Gabby Hanna at all. And it's making her look crazy. Like, you keep talking about somebody and bringing up somebody that's not mentioning you, that's not talking about you. It's starting to look a little crazy. It's starting to look a little bitter. Gabby Hanna, what is going on? And Gabby Hanna, whatever type of... Uh, 
person that you're trying to perceive online, then you're ruining you're ruining it by by mentioning Trisha Paytas, by popping off so much, by starting drama, by attacking people. You know, if people want to talk badly about you, let them, girl. You don't have to respond to them. Okay, you need to protect your peace. You don't. Everything does not need a response. Does that make sense? I hope I'm I'm trying to give like the right. The, the right type of information to get behind it if she ever watches this video because by her reacting and responding is making her look worse. Just let go and let God because you, need, you really need to just chill. I don't know what's going on. I don't know the full scope of the story. It's still developing on this end. So let me know how you feel about all that drama. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you so much.